Do you think seven's a lucky number? Because that's how many times I've now tried to record this video. I'm going to try one more time. So, hi, welcome. This is a video about how to upload things to Blackboard. Um, remember that there's a Blackboard link at the top of kelly.ninja. Um, so, um, it's an easy way to get there. You're going to go to your Blackboard, obviously, the first thing you're going to do, and choose your course. So, I'm going to pick this one. Right? Um, in all of my classes, the um, assignments are always over here in the left corner, um, in the left menu. So find your assignment, whatever it is. Um, here, let's turn in a, a research assignment. That sounds great, doesn't it? Um, and so click on the assignment. Now notice this has links, it has instructions. Turn it in this way. So you should be turning things in in Word format unless I otherwise um, tell you to do so. Turn in Grammarly. Um, Google Docs, Apple Pages, what to do, how to get those in the right format, that kind of thing. So read through the, the words and the links. Make sure you are in the right place, that you click on the right assignment, okay? Um, and then all you got to do is you're going to attach it. So you go just like you would attach any or upload any other file. And so here's my Word document, and I can do that, right? If you have, you went to the Writing Center, if you went to the Face-to-Face -face Writing Center, we were open, um, you could go and you would take a picture of a Trans Mountain, they do a stamp, other places they do a form, you can put that, um, you can put that form just like right over the first page of your paper so I can see both, take a picture of that, upload that. Um, if you're in the Virtual Writing Center, um, they might have sent you an audio response, so you could go back in and, um, upload other things. You can change your folders. Um, Grammarly report in here. I'm just holding down command. If I was on a Mac, I'd hold down, I mean control. If I was on a Mac, I'd hold down command and clicking there, open, and it attaches. Double check. Make sure you've attached everything specifically, and very importantly, make sure you do have your assignment attached in the right format. If there's some comments you want to give me, um, hey, come on, turtle won the race. Um, then definitely do that. Okay, some, something I need to know. And then all you got to do is click submit. Once you click submit, we'll see what you get so that you know you submitted. So you will see at the top of your page, success, your submission appears on this page. Confirmation, copy and save. Eh, yeah, so what? Um, I mean, I'll show you where to get the confirmation easier. And so like here's that audio. Um, you can see everything here. We can see the assignment. When you click on it, you'll see it. I just did this one as a test, so I just put a couple of letters in there. There's the comment, and that's exactly what you'll see. If you're going back in to submit an assignment, um, oh, this one doesn't allow for multiple submissions, but let's say you are um, going back in and you've submitted an assignment, and I said, okay, work on it, or, you know, whatever we're doing. Um, if you're, if we're doing it in stages, um, in 1301, we have drafts and final assignments here. So make sure that's the right place. But if I've told you to resubmit to the same place, when you open it, you'll see these things, but you can also click on start new. So, you know, you can attach your, your new, make sure you attach the new one and anything else you need to attach it. And you might put, here's my revision. Okay. Um, whatever it is. And so then when you submit that, the same thing will happen, and we'll see success, and you'll see there it is, attempt one. If you want to go back and look at attempt one, just like that, it'll take you back to it, okay? Now, I mentioned confirmation. When you, get, when you submit, you will have an email that you'll get that does have that confirmation number in it and everything like that. You might want to check your email before you close the screen. Um, it is kind of nice. That way, if something did happen and Blackboard exploded, um, I don't know, somebody typed the wrong things in it, made it explode, who knows. Um, but you could say, hey, look, I have this email. See, I turned it in on time. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just an in-case kind of gal. So that's how you um, uh, turn in things in assignments on Blackboard. Um, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to call this done. I'm going to hit stop and upload it and... No more time saying this all over again. I hope you have a wonderful day.